Hey everyone, I've got a new eyeshadow palette today and I'm wearing it right now. And I also have a highlighter palette that I'm wearing right now. We have the Milani Bold Obsessions. So Milani came out with these new multi-pan palettes. There's two of them. There's Bold Obsessions and then there's another one that's all mattes. I found a full display of these in a Walmart yesterday and I'm very happy with this palette. This one is based on metallics. The other one is all matte. I did not get the all matte one, but it reminds me a lot of the Tartlet palettes, like the In Bloom palette. It really has those same shades in it, and it really has, um, it's all matte, and it just looks really nice, but I was drawn to this metallic because I love metallic eyeshadows. Beautiful texture on these. You just would not believe. You have to touch these metallics to believe it for yourself because they are that creamy and smooth. They are such high quality and beautiful. Now the colors in this are reminding me a lot of a Vizart palette that I have or a Viseart palette that I have. And that is the Vizart, Viseart Golden Hour palette. Look at these two side by side. They kind of have similar colors in them. Viseart is extremely high quality, but it is also very expensive. I think you can kind of knock off that one with this new palette from Milani. The quality is definitely there. It is fantastic. So I paid $14.97 plus tax for this one. Not bad. Some people may think, you know, that's kind of high for a drugstore palette, but I was going in thinking that they were like 20, around 20 somewhere. So I think $14.97 is pretty good. This is, and I just remembered I forgot to put anything in my inner corner. Let's put a little bit of this sort of pearly, pink. Look at the intensity. I love this palette. The uh, the metallics like this are just crazy intense. There we go on that one. It's coming out kind of less pink on the eye. It looks more gold, but that is fine. It is doing its job of brightening that inner corner for sure. Look at that. I love this palette. It's so beautiful. Let me swatch these for you and then I'll show you how I applied today. Okay, here's your colors. Look at the thickness of those metallic ones, the opacity on them. I'm really loving pretty much every color. Now this color right here is pretty wimpy. Um, that is this one right here, but that's just sort of um, thrown in there, I think. It's just, but just beautiful. My, of course, when I first looked at this palette, the first thing I thought about doing was putting this on my lid and then putting that in the center. But I've been doing those kind of really warm, flaming tones lately so much that I'm kind of tired of it for now. So I did something different today. I used this color on my lid, and I used this color in the outer corner, this in the crease, this also for transition, and then this sort of between the outer corner and the transition area. So I will um, walk you through what I did today. Okay, I've primed my lids. I'm going to start out with this color down here at the bottom in my crease as a transition color. Nice and pigmented. I mean, look at that. Very nice. I'm just going to kind of dot this out there in the general area and then start moving it around. That's a good one right there. Look at the intensity on that one. Wow, I don't think I'm going to have to put another coat of that on. I like to kind of dot that on out there because sometimes it can, especially with one that's kind of a little darker than normal on a transition color, can get um, those streaks in it from grabbing onto your lid. One of my 10 year old's favorite pastimes is to torture Alexa with ridiculous and stupid questions. And he's out there right now doing it. Okay, I'm going to place in the sort of right out here part of my crease this flaming beautiful red i don't even know it's like a magenta okay i'm just gonna place some of that right kind of there wow look at the intensity of this pigment this is a nice palette very nice look at that this is sort of a, this color is sort of a satin. It's not, um, it's not a matte, it's satiny. 
And dusting off the brush, I'm just going to sort of blend that around. I wanted to get this color in somehow in this look, and that's what I came up with because it is so pretty. It's a, such a pretty color. Dabbing into this sort of pearly light pink for my brow highlight. Oh, wow. Pow on that one. I'm going to have to go in and blend that a little so that it's not quite so... God, this is such a nice palette. It's freaking me out. Okay, Milani, come out with some more because this is really nice. Adding onto my lid this color right here, and it's definitely a satin metallic. These are just creamy. They feel like something much more expensive. Outer corner, I'm going to pat this dark blue-gray metallic. Oh, that is so pretty, even on the brush. Look at that. Oh, wow. It's like, wait a minute. I didn't need half of that color that was on that brush. Look at the intensity there. Oh my God, that is beautiful color. Look at these colors together. Okay, I added some more because I don't want that color to disappear. It's so nice. I'm gonna put in my very outer corner this deep chocolate brown. It's a matte. I'm putting that mainly at the top of my outer corner color. Okay, now I'm gonna put on my finger some of this bright gold right here and dot that in the center of my lid. And look at Milani here. Look at what they have done. Such a good job. I'm just gonna kind of pat that into place. It is a little um, glittery, like flaky, kind of getting everywhere. Okay, now I'm going to go into that color I used as the transition color with a pencil brush and a line under my eyes. I put that all around and then... Now, I'm going to attempt to put this dark blue-gray and stamp it under my lash line, but if it gets real muddy, I'm going to have to put something else. No, it's not going real muddy. Yeah, it's it's holding its color. It's not going gray or anything like that. Just sort of stamping it in with this is a Morphe brush. I may put just a little more of this sort of caramelly color under there just to clean up the edges. High quality palette for not a high price. Beautiful. I didn't get the mattes. I feel like the mattes one is, I've got enough mattes. I just am drawn. Of course, you know, I'm drawn to metallics. I have it on my lips. I have everything metallic. I have to have, to have everything metallic. Beautiful colors. Now, I did notice when I was applying them that I actually had less fallout than I thought I was going to. So that was a shock. I did have a little bit just right like around here with that darker color, but and a little bit of the gold right through here that I d dabbed on my lid, but a lot less than I was expecting. I didn't do any of my face makeup until after I'd finished because I thought, oh, this is gonna fall out terrible because look at these glitters, but it didn't. So Urban Decay has a new collaboration with Kristen Leanne. Look at the packaging on this. This is the highlighter palette. It is called Beauty Beam Highlight Palette. What a good name for a highlight palette. Now, there are only three colors in here. It's pretty small, but I am just knocked out by this palette right now. I'm using it every day. I have it on today. I'll show you the layering I did on it. These are some beautiful colors. The thing is, I think this really works for all skin tones at the same time working really well for fair skins. That's unusual that you can get something that's going to be that comprehensive. And the smoothness, the smoothness is so amazing on these colors. Urban Decay, I have not been all that crazy about their highlighters over the years. Those individual ones that they put out not too long ago, there was a fireball one, there was one called Sin, and I'm like, they're not as 
buttery as I want them to be. These are as buttery as I want highlighters to be. I love it. Let me show you the three different colors. What I've been doing also is mixing these colors because they are so smooth and beautiful. Look at that one. Ah! This last one is so wearable for us fair skins. It's amazing. Let me put these on, just smearing them on. Okay. Look at those. Look at this unusual bronzy, rose goldish. I don't know what color. I love that. I love to mix these two together when I don't want something that's quite that bright or something that's quite that sort of dim. I mix those two together and it becomes just so pretty. This is a good medium to deep skin tone one. I bet if I mixed that with this one, I could wear it. So here's what I did on my cheek today. And because I want it kind of very, um, kind of golden, I'm gonna put this color on first. I put that color on and then I'm gonna put um, the brighter, the lighter, brighter side of it, of that palette on. This one's almost going on a golden, look at that bronze. It's going on like a bronze. Look at that. Ugh. Let's put some of the really more light color that's in the middle there. Wow. Now that one is intense. It's reflecting me. All right. Whoa. Now that one kind of crept up a little too high and it got a little creamy because my blender sponge was a little wet there. That is a that is an, an intense highlight and it's so pretty. The color is amazing. Okay, let me mix through these last two colors because I want you to see how pretty this color is. It's just a really lighter shade than this. See how it's just a little lighter and it gives me, being super fair, this one's almost a little deep for me, but this mixed together is like perfection. And here are the other two, the last two shades mixed together for me. A definite intense gold. This one's gonna be too deep for me, but this one is approaching a little more wearability. I just really like this one, the two mixed together on the top there. So coming up, we have Glitter Drops from Cover FX. Just zone out on that for a while. Oh. About to do a very large order with Ulta, 20% off. Plus, they raised the limit on my credit card. <laughs> Yay, I love that. So thanks once again for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for all your kind comments.